Hi everyone. Um, so a little bit, like to reintroduce myself from last week. Uh, my name is Jenny, and I'm a junior this year, and I have one year left for my undergrad. Um, my major is microbiology, and I also have a minor in anthropology. Um, for the past year and a half, I've been working as a CA for North Campus at Tempe. So I've worked in Palo Verde West, and this year I'm in Manzanita, so it's a different environment. Um, the reason I brought up this job is just to kind of share the, the points that I have with leadership. So this job um, is big in the leadership role, communication, and anything like that with the freshman class of ASU. And I also have a lot of family members who are involved in medicine. Um, my brother, my older brother is, this year he is a fourth year medical student, medical school student, and next year he will be doing residency in internal medicine. Um, so the purpose of this video is basically to just kind of give some advice about how to stop the COVID transmission and how to protect yourself and your loved ones. So I picked out three of the most important to me, three of the most important approaches to preventing COVID. And these ones we've all heard before, but I do think it's very important to reiterate them over and over just because um, living in Arizona, we can see how many people do not take these seriously. And they kind of think that it's a ploy from the government or they'll just think that, oh, I'm young. Um, it hasn't affected me or any of my family or it has affected some of my family members, but they came out fine. So it must not be any worse than a flu, which is not true. So just here to kind of um, emphasize the facts and the points that we should all be uh, understanding towards so that we can prevent um, COVID from um, infecting any more people. So the first one is social distancing. Um, we hear this all the time. It's basically not standing any closer than six feet between you and the next person, unless that person is your family member or someone that you um, live with or quarantine with. Um, the importance of social distancing is that COVID, it transmits through respiratory droplets within the air. So this can get from one person to another person through, through breathing, through talking, through sneezing, anything like that will have respiratory droplets. And it's really important that we stay far apart from each other so that these droplets don't have the opportunity to travel from one person to another, whether they have COVID or not. The second one is wearing a face mask. So going off of the respiratory droplets, if there is a barrier between our nose and our mouth and these respiratory droplets in the air, we are much more safer and have a higher chance of not breathing these droplets in that could be infected with COVID and allowing that to enter into our system. Another important thing to think about is with COVID and these respiratory droplets, we want to try to prevent or close the doors, the doors giving these respiratory droplets entry right into our body. This would be through our eyes, which is why it is important to wash our hands and not touch our face to allow that. Um, another one would also be the nose and the mouth and the face mask would cover both the nose and the mouth. Um, it would just be important to remember to not touch our face or our eyes, especially rubbing the eyes is very common for people. So it's important to remember to not do that. And the third tip would be to limit being in areas where there's a lot of people, um, going in crowds, hanging out with more than five people that um, you don't live with, going to parties, bars, anything like that where there would be a group of people, it is very important to remember to not attend those. Um, it can be very dangerous. It could take just one person who 
has COVID, but maybe is asymptomatic, but he could pass it on. He or she could pass it on to a, a countless amount of people in that area as well. And maybe that person was asymptomatic, but the next person won't be so lucky. So we need to remember to social distance, wear a face mask, and limit being in areas where there's a lot of people. My residents are outside, I'm so sorry. Um, to conclude this video, um, I think it's really important that we adhere to that we adhere to these protocols and these um, guidelines that the CDC gives us. And it's really important for the younger generation to remember, even if it may not hit you as hard, you may be living with your family members, you may be living with your grandparents, you may be living with really young children who are not as lucky as you to have a strong immune system since we're in our 20s, 30s, um, it's really important to remember that the people around us are not as lucky and may not be as strong as we are and we need to limit ourselves to help the safety of others. Thank you for listening to my video. I apologize for the uh, middle segment where I got a little distracted because my residents are right outside and they are a little bit loud but the things I said in this video are also the things that I have um, emphasized to them as well. But since I've seen how much they don't care about COVID and everything, um, I think it's really important that we continue to emphasize these points and continue to stay strong in this pandemic.